Yay, it's Sue Greenwald here with Awaken Stories, and I'm here with John F. Kennedy Jr., the real and original one. Hey, John, how are you? I am doing awesome, Sue. Like um, I keep saying, every time I get to spend time with you and chat, <laughs> it, it, it makes my whole day. It really, yeah, really does. Yeah, we, we normally talk every week, uh, except I think we skipped a week or so, but it's all good. And um, a lot of times I tell people in my travels about you, you know, that I'm talking with you on video and they all light up and then they get confused. And then I tell them about what we do. And then I say, we kind of shit talk the government. Every <laughs> one of them loves that. They love it. So it's so exciting, isn't it? So yeah, um, it breaks my heart. I, I, I can't stop thinking about all the people that are asleep. Yeah. There's so many people that are, I know the truth. I know what's really going on because I'm the son of an assassinated president and had to live that lifestyle of, you know, in hiding and trying to uh, stay alive, you know, my whole life. And people aren't awake. They got the cabal, two sides. They got the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, and they're waving their flags for these people. And they are the cabal. They These people waving the flags have no idea what's in these people's closet. They are run by the shadow government, and it really is it, saddening. I'm in Arizona. I see Trump flags, Trump bumper stickers everywhere I go. It's Trump, Trump, Trump everywhere. And it's like the man is a thief. The man is a criminal. And, you know, there's so much. He needs to be in prison. There's so much I know about the man stealing millions of dollars from me. He is organized crime at the highest level he's been president of the united states and i'm trying to expose what a scumbag he is how he was my cousin my loved one and he was murdered he was replaced by organized crime so they could keep all these billions of dollars in their little circle and it's heartbreaking because i know the truth and the the program they want us to stay in with the media that's been taken over and everything else that's been taken over that people are just, you know, I don't want to call them stupid because they're not stupid. I've been stupid myself, but they're unaware of the brainwashing, the programming and the, you know, when we're little, we're, we're taught everything we know. And these people are taught to wave their flag for a man named Donald Trump and they need to really hear what I'm saying and wake up and see that he was best friends with Epstein, see that he did, you know, ran pageants, that he had little girls sitting on his lap and what they really do, the child trafficking and every other thing, you know, it, it's so huge. I'm a victim of our government's corruption. I was thrown in a dog cage. I was screwed in the butt. I was so abused as a kid, so I wouldn't talk while well, I'm talking now, even if it hurts my feelings. Like I said, I was screwed in the butt, but I was actually tortured many, many times not to get this out. I'm getting it out, people, so I hope you listen to me. Right. So you went from being a, you know, a child, three-year-old child, taken care of by nannies, surrounded by Secret Service, jet setting everywhere, living the life most of us can't even imagine to basically being tortured, kidnapped, everything you can, every bad thing you can think of. And yeah, I mean, talking, of, sitting down with a gun at my head to made to eat rat poison. You know, um, I, I was, I, when I was young, I was jet setting all over the place. But then when I grew older, <laughs> I was jet setting around the world, just trying to stay alive from the cabal. They didn't want me sharing the story. Right. The John, John, the whole world knew. You know, this comment was made the other day. Well, he was just a child. He didn't know any better. You know, organized crime placed him in as a child to take your identity. Well, that's one thing. But when he became an adult, he knew better. When he wanted to have me killed so I would never expose what's really going on, he wanted me dead. They took me. They were taking me to that wedding to kill me, to end my life. So with that said, yeah, he, he didn't need to uh try to kill me to keep living a life of luxury right right and it sounds like he has uh probably murdered many people because in that one photo that's in your book so here's john's book stolen identity available amazon barnes and noble and 
easy to read, hard to hear these stories, but it has to come out so we understand how things are operating, how things have been operating for a long time. But anyways, um, basically, it sounds like, you know, in that picture in your book where you, you're you comparing the rings, you're in school. Let's see. I don't. Anyways, um, you said he got that ring for murdering someone. And he yeah. was only like, and it was probably it was probably one of my loved ones. Yeah, and he was only it was like a takeover, and they used children from a young age. Yeah, I'm I'm a personal eyewitness. What they they did, um, it's it's you know the John Gotti's of the world. Yeah, um, and all these people, they don't have a problem committing murder, using identity theft to steal their money. The media will say organized crime doesn't. Even exist anymore because they're the media they're organized crime True. you know donald trump will say yeah the media is organized crime they're all corrupt but he's part of the same crew he's just calling his buddies corrupt they're still putting him on every single day right. it, it, it's all it's all the same circle of crime right. So we we've talked in the past months, you know, everything was based on this book. So our videos were based on this book. But John has through the months shown us how and why organized crimes crime takes over someone's identity. And basically, they usually replace that person. <coughs> and they have that person's power, authority, finances, wealth, money, whatever it is, business. So that's a really easy way for them to take over and control the assets, which are usually sucked out and funneled off to someone else. Right? Oh, they put they put funds in, in other people's names. Yeah. Um, and then they get those people to pay up. Yeah. Um, they, the billionaires don't tell you what they do. They'll get a boy and turn him into a girl and then mm -hmm. put all this money into their bank account. And you're looking for a little boy's bank account when it's a little girl i mean the crazy things yeah. they do to yeah. hide their their money and you got to remember they're the cabal you either do what they say or you know we only have one life and they use that one life against these people you know, either pay up or, or die right it, it, it's that simple and we know those that of us that are watching already see in politics or any influencer entertainer whatever the the they're they're super attractive famous women that are really men and vice versa and we're seeing that more and more a lot of times i'll talk about this with somebody i'll say oh that guy that's a dude and people will be like no no it is it happens way more than we understand or realize those people are totally controlled and they have to do what they're told or else and, and it's from a young age they start off from a young age they really do yeah yeah so one thing I noticed is um, we have a picture. I'm going to see if I can put use uh, this picture from your book. Look at the guys in the background, the kids in the background. You see what they're doing? Nazi salute. Yeah, and I remember that day very, very well because uh, the teacher was actually educating us on Hitler. Oh, and, you know, kids do stupid things right you know yeah. but it just seemed appropriate knowing who some of those kids were well it's it, like even john john in that picture sticking his tongue out yeah 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 so okay um i wanted to talk about a couple things before we get down the rabbit hole a little bit the first is you have a new website out that went out a few days ago all right, so I'm going to put the link in the description, but the website is the real John F. Kennedy Jr. Okay, it's a long one, and it is awesome, people. It's it awesome. Really so it kind of gives an overview of the timeline, of course, not of every highlight of your life, but kind of a lot of the salient points of your life. It, it um, talks about, you know, it shows video highlights. It's beautifully done. So for those that want to go see more and want to learn more about this story, obviously we're recommending the book because that's more comprehensive. The website's very well done. So that's the first thing I want. Yeah. To and thank you, Sue. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And thanks, Kimberly. Yeah. You you guys are awesome. I can't do that kind of stuff. I, I don't have time to do that. And you guys stepped in 
and uh said let's do it and uh yeah i hope god blesses you, you guys did 99 percent. i'm just the uh <laughs> hey I'm it's all that... it's all yeah, good yeah. but she's she's awesome the other uh, thing i want you to know do... right right at the front of the website you got my book yeah. they don't want you people to know what's in this book sure and this book, every time somebody buys a copy, gives me a couple dollars to make my life better. They have left yep. me in poverty. I was um, sharing with Sue right before we started. Um, I get letters. I get love offerings and gifts from people. Sometimes I don't get back to you a lot of times because I am so busy. Um, I'm remodeling my son's house to make it livable for me and Robin, so we have a place to stay. But your your love gifts and offerings are so helpful. I got a letter in the mail the other day, and it looked like it had been run over by the Postal Service forklifts over and over and over again. And in that letter, it was from a gal. Did you get my card earlier? It had a kitty and a puppy on it. Um, but anyway, this one letter took three weeks for me to get. Um, I remember I did get a, a letter a few months ago with a puppy and a kitty on it. So thank you so much. <laughs> for the per I don't I don't like to tell people, you know, names or anything no. on, on who sent me things. But I was um, sharing with Sue. Um, I, we're trying to remodel a house with nothing and, and, and get the paint and everything, buying discount and thrift stores and all this. And somebody sent me a gift of a few hundred dollars yesterday and I was able to go to Home Depot. So you know who you are and then you're so very much appreciated and I hope God blesses you like crazy for just trying to help me get out of poverty. And, uh, thank you all so much. And, and, you know, that comes back to these necklaces, the King, he, he donated thousands of dollars with these necklaces so I can have a better life. He said, John, sell these and make your life better. And uh, so far, so good. It, it's been awesome with a great response. These are going to go down in history, people. They really are. Um, it, it says, Unveiling the Real John Kennedy Jr. on the back. It has Smarties logo, source directives. And it's an awesome pendant. And it helps get this story out any sure. way we can. It really does. Right. And it's going to be a collector's item. Right yes. now, there's 100 of each. There's... 100 of the gold, 100 of the silver, 100 of the rose gold, 100 of the black, and the rainbow. And they come in the small and the large size. Right. So whatever you prefer. My favorite is this silver one right here. And uh, they got King's logo and uh, are filled with uh, frequencies. Right. And I, I love mine. It helps me with my post-traumatic stress disorder. When I start getting stressed out and worried about getting a bullet in the head, I grab this and, and hold on to it. And uh, it brings me back to reality. It really does. Right. And sometimes my reality is really harsh to handle. It really is. Uh, I, I If you don't know my story, I've lost all the loved ones. That, not all of them, because I, I love a lot of people. But my mother and my sister and my father and my uncles and my cousins and my mother's side of the family. And just recently, I lost my son. So uh, my losses are huge, but my story is worth it to get it out. You know, there's many people that have lost their lives trying to defend and protect this country, many. And why I'm doing this is because I don't want that all to go in vain when we lose control, which we are right now very close to losing everything in America. Right, right. So so basically, I've tried to show, and I'm not really... Um, very good at this, but um, I'm trying to show the front and the back of the pendant. There's small and there's large. Five Isn't that beautiful? That's so beautiful. It's, it is beautiful. It looks like liquid metal to me, the way it shines and glistens. Yeah. And it has the, the picture that's on the cover of the book, which I think is a fabulous picture. But best of all, these are infused with healing frequencies. So for the past, I don't know, five or six months, whatever it's been, we've seen you looking a little bit rougher and then every week look better 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 and so what has been the difference you've been wearing your ptsd dog tag pendant that smarty had sent you 
Oops, you had sent, you had a different one than this, but they have healing and protective frequencies. Now, yeah, in the, um, you have some of his products as well, which helps amp up the vibration in the house. So that has been the biggest difference. And you've been telling us stories through the months of how you've gone to the doctor and they're like, wow, I'm seeing such a dramatic improvement in your health. A lot. So recently. Yeah, um, everything. Well, my health was so bad last year. Well, yeah. actually, it's been two years since my total heart failure. But I've had so many medical conditions hit me at once. I thought I was dying. I felt like I was dying. I made a video on TikTok, and you could see that it looked like I was dying. That video probably had, I know it had a half a million views before they took it down. But every time I turn around, they wanted to put a pacemaker in me. They wanted to... um put the defibrillator in me when my first had heart failure, I was wearing a big old bra and contraption with wires all over it. And that thing was beeping all the time, but they wanted to do that. And I went in, the doctor said, go in for a test first. One of my other doctors, I went in for my test and they said, your heart went up from 30% to 50%. So you don't need that anymore. Um, the, the heart doctor said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And I was like, okay. Well, um, my doctor sent me to a cancer doctor because my blood count was all screwed up. This was a year ago. And uh, yesterday, or day before yesterday, I should say, I went in to, I, I took a blood test last week, but I went in for the results. And the cancer doctor was like, how you feeling? I'm like, I'm okay. He's like, well, in the past year, everything's been good and getting better. So I don't want to see you anymore. There's no need for you to be here at all. And I was like, I don't want to be here. Um, so yeah, the, the, the cancer doctor was like, go away. And I'm, I'm glad to go away. I'm so glad to go away. Yeah, yeah. So things are improving. And, and sometimes they're subtle. Now, some, some of the people in Smarties groups have had very dramatic healing and changes in their lives. It's been in, incredible. For, for many people, though, it's more subtle and it takes like you'll notice improvement over time, you know, so there's lots of factors that go into it. But it's it's beautiful to see how these products work. And so, you, you know, again, yeah, we're talking about them because we're excited. OK, um, um, you don't need to buy one, but if you do, it is a collector's item, but it will help heal you. A quick story to that one pendant that I had that was blue that King Smarty sent me. Yeah. There was a gal and she said, I really want the blue one um, that King Smarty talked about. And I was like, well, we haven't produced them yet. King hasn't made them yet. And uh, she said, but I really want one. She sent me an order for one. I think it was a rainbow one. And I sent her the blue one that I, I wore around my neck. I said, you want a blue one? You got a blue one now. But uh Awesome. Cool. So, Very cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I hope uh, the blue one she's got does what she needs it to do. Right, right. So the money that, you know, is collected from the books and the necklaces goes for living expenses. OK, and and John often buys more books to, to gift people. Right. And other things like that. So it's not like he's becoming wealthy. OK, <laughs> but it, it helps one necklace, one book at a time. It all helps. Yeah, I'm definitely not wealthy, but it, it really is. It, it's it's yeah. a blessing, whatever. Um, me and Robin are living in a trailer. We're trying to rebuild a trailer now and make it nice enough to live in. So we have a bigger trailer. Yeah. So it's not like John Kennedy Jr. has lived a a life of what's been stolen from him in no way, shape yeah. or form. Um, your blessings really, really help. Yeah. I was talking with Sue. I said, Hey Sue, yesterday I had a couple dollars and I needed to buy some, some lumber to frame some windows and do some things in the house so we could paint and, and get it going. And I only had a couple dollars and I checked the mail and somebody sent me a blessing. So I went to home Depot and, and it's not like I went to home Depot and, just started throwing lumber on my cart. I went to the coal cart. And if you don't know what coal lumber is, it's all crooked and bent and warped and broken, but it's 70% off. So I filled up the, the lumber with the coal wood that I could use. 
and I went to the checkout and, you know, I got 70% off what, instead of buying it off the shelf. Right. So it's not like uh, I got money to throw away and just start loading two by fours on my cart at five bucks a piece when I can get them at 70% off. Right. Right. Good move. All right. So anyways, um, you know, you lived this life of luxury as a child and gradually after your father was assassinated, that life of luxury trickled away. Like you were flowing around, you did this, you did that, but eventually you ended up at the Quigley's where things went south rapidly, right? Yeah. Um, a, a lot of, uh, not, a lot of not so good. Yeah. Really. yeah. Um, the government, these people I'm trying to expose that run the Democratic Party, that run the Republican Party, they're not nice. They're all about their family, the cabal family, the satanic organization, the world they live in, and money and power and keeping that power. They have no problem taking children's lives away from them, replacing children. They thought, well, you know, I'll never forget the words that they can enslave me and keep me as a slave. And even our federal agencies, they'll, you know, the flat out, they told me they're going to use me till the day I die for who I am. They do that. It, it, but I don't even know where I was going. I get all these yeah, yeah. bad thoughts in my head and everything else. Well, let me ask you a question. It's been 60 years now since your dad was assassinated. 60 years, all this stuff has happened, and you're like living independently, we'll say, okay? You're living on a costed. At, at this moment, all right? So why do you think they don't want the story out now so badly? Because a lot of the guys that perpetrated these crimes are most likely dead. Like well, So many of them are still alive. So many alive. So I know you have um, names. You know, you got Donald Trump. You got yeah. Bobby Kennedy. You got my sister, Caroline. These identities have been stolen. These members yeah. are hardcore cabal. You, you got Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, you got the Bushes. I've got so many crimes that I personally know about on all these people. Barack Obama, you know, the, these people are the heads of the top. And I could point my finger and say, you did this and you did that. You're, you know, what about Waco? What about 9-11? And I know, you know, I'm a whistleblower. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think about that all the time. I'm the biggest whistleblower of the century. I'm John Kennedy Jr., for God's sakes. And my father was the president. And I got so much dirt on blowing my whistle. The only problem is that little ball ain't in my whistle. <laughs> well, we're trying to help you just amplify. Don't... We're amplifying what you're doing by, by sharing this story around, telling people about it. So every time I go out, a lot of times people will like I, I wear smarty charms and the jewelry, they'll compliment the jewelry that leads into a, comp, uh, a conversation. I tell them about you in the videos and they're either like they, they usually go like excited. And then they're like, what? they don't know the story, the real story. I give them a little tidbit. I give them my card and hopefully they're curious, curious enough to, to research a little more, to watch these videos, to read the book. They do so much to hinder us. Yeah. I got a team of lions and they get kicked off TikTok, Facebook, um, YouTube. Yeah. Um, Dr. Kia Pru is a good example. But Henry, Henry came to me, he got kicked off TikTok again. I think that's the fifth time he's been kicked off. Yeah. And he said, brother, the other day he messaged me, he said, brother, I got kicked off again. But when I put it, the, the info in and a phone number came back. It was a Washington, D.C. phone number. He's like, isn't that kind of odd that um, the hackers are coming from Washington, D.C.? Not really. They don't want this truth out. Right. So we did a video. I'm going to say it was two weeks. You, I, and King Smarty. We were on a live video. It was really a fabulous video. That was taken right down. And then, you know, on YouTube, you have a little button. You can dispute the um, them removing the video. So, of course, I press the button and they come right back with, oh, sorry, you violated our, you know, community guidelines or whatever BS. That yeah, I, I reposted that same how. video and they took mine down too, Sue. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, they're, they don't want this truth out. 
It's true. And, uh, you know, they're all they're all run by these billionaires. They want us, you know, if, if anything major ever happened and it was the government against the people, they try to suppress the people. Um, so we have, you know, we need to go old school. Everybody needs to get a two way radio in their house. They want to communicate because they're, they're controlling every every ounce of communication all the way to the media where they filter it out to us on what they want us to know, not what we need to know. Yeah. And uh, they've accomplished that. We are proof that they have. My story is the biggest story of the century. Right. What they did to me. They can't prove me wrong. Um, they don't want to prove me right because, you know, but it's huge. It should be on every media channel around the world. And it's not because they control it. Right. They control it all. And we're in grave danger. And I'm screaming, we're in grave danger, people. The cabal are running things. They're putting these candidates in place so they can keep running things, keep destroying our country. Um, you know, when I was at Home Depot, I was looking at lumber, the simple little lumber, a dollar or a foot to two dollars and fifty cents a foot for the cheap stuff. I remember, you know, what was it, 30 years ago, you could buy build out your own house for four dollars a foot. Now you can't even buy the trim to go around it for $4 a foot. It's everything has gone up on purpose. Okay. So groceries, gas, utilities, apartments, you know, rentals, mortgage, rate, like name something that hasn't gone up that we need. And it's so sad yeah. because you get people like billionaire Donald Trump and people are sending him millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. These people are so brainwashed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I was saying, you know, we're getting like um, annoyed. People are annoyed because you're trying to promote the, 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 the pendant. Right. When Donald Trump, a billionaire who has everything, you know, he has everything is getting millions of dollars donated to him. All right. So, yeah. And he's selling freaking sneakers, for God's sakes. I go to the flea markets and it's all Donald Trump merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we want to we want to try to make. Life for all Americans by selling, you know, selling a little pendant yes. and right. people talk shit. Yeah. It's really, um, yeah. it's really sad. Right. Um, it, and well, I want everybody that's listening right now. You all see Donald Trump going like this everywhere now. It's the biggest photo op this world has ever seen. That was staged, people. It was just like a Hollywood reenactment. It was staged. People lost their lives because that's what the cabal do. In a million years, that would have never, ever happened. The Secret Service would have thrown him on the ground and drug him off stage where a second shooter would not have been able to take a shot. Ever. Happened. It's rigged. It's faked. And you are brainwashed if you can't see it. Yeah, totally rigged and faked. I mean, everyone in the audience that day uh, pointed out that there was a guy up on the roof Nothing was done. People were taking donut breaks or whatever. And of course, that poor guy um, is no longer with us. So we never will hear that true story from him. So. But well, yeah, which I said, if you all remember my salute as a kid on my father's um, funeral day, when that casket went by, I did a salute. Yeah. I want you all to remember, I was trained for hours and hours before I did that salute. It was a photo op people so when you see donald trump go like this just remember they were trained for hours and hours before that ever happened and people lost their lives because they don't care but if you if you're sharing that picture get some intel because that would have never happened unless it was staged yeah. ever yeah Interesting times, you know, like we're going to look back on this in a few years and say, wow, I can't believe we made it through that because it, it's been hard. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you've had a much harder time getting this story out, but people are feeling beat up, worn down. And I was telling John before we got started, like, it's like we're climbing this up, you know, the steep mountain. We're not to the top yet, but we're really close. So hang in there. Don't uh, lose your faith. Don't give up. Never give up. We're almost to the top where we can rest and then it's going to be easy. Okay. And there's only one way. I can't sugarcoat it. There's only one way to fix what we got going on. And that's to eliminate the government and their power. 
there's only one way and that's for us to share share my story use me as an example you know you can use many stories as an example but use me as a story of my life story what they've done to me right and the more people we can get to say hey i don't want criminals running this country i don't want the future of my children to rely on these murderers these crime ring people in control of my children's lives it's that simple we unite we can fix things and we can get rid of the criminals in our government right. and i don't see any other way to do it than unite um i i, I yeah. can't so hit that share button people yeah all right well, we decided to keep this video short today for multiple reasons, but we wanted to talk about the new website. We're very excited about that in the pendants. And so uh, anything you can do to support John is welcome. In the description, I'll put how you can send him a check so he doesn't have to pay any uh, fees for the pendants, that kind of stuff. Um, but your support is most appreciated and we're not just doing fundraising here, although we have recently, you know, because we're excited about this, but this allows us to all help John while helping ourselves with the uh, frequencies. So yay. Yeah. And, and it, then, it's helping, it's helping everybody. You know, I came up with that saying justice for John 24 is justice for all. It really is. Yeah. It's just for everybody. What yeah. I'm, what I'm doing. Yeah. Well, what we've talked about in the past, too, is this story is not just um, for the U.S. This is a global <laughs> story because what they did to one person, they've done it across the board to many. Now, those stories haven't come out yet. But you oh, are England, Ireland, Australia. It's it's all it's global. It really is global what they're doing. So um, you're paving the way for other whistleblowers. And for more yeah, treatment. and we need our little ball in that whistle so we can make some noise. And they took our little <laughs> balls away. They yeah. really did. Yeah. I need to learn to whistle, you know, without a whistle. But yeah, um, yeah, please, please share, people. Let's let's yeah. get the truth out yeah. to the world. Yeah. So we're going to keep this short today, but we'll be back next week with maybe more content. And um, you know, John's been working on his house, and he's physically tired. I think. Um, from all the manual labor. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been going 24 hours a day. I think yeah. it, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, with that said, www.thereeljohnfkennedyjr.com. Check it out. Um, I'm, I'm going to repost this um, on YouTube. But if you have anything you want on the website, um, comparison of the ears, something uh you know anything that you want on there that you have a picture of me as a little child age progression whatever it is send it to me and uh yeah. we'll try to get it on the website but it's information on this website there's my interviews with sue uh kia um there's the interview with god my movie hollywood career is on there right. everything they've stolen from me is on there so yeah. if you want to get educated Go to www.therealjohnfkennedyjr and check it all out, people, yeah. and you'll wake up. I know you will. Yeah. And and I did watch some of those old movie clips that you were in, and I couldn't watch them all, but like some of them you were in right at the beginning, and it was so apparent that it was you, right? Like there's no question in my mind, right? Because Yeah, you look at that one picture where me and John are side by side, and then you look at the movie clips. Yeah. And you look at this ugly mug right here. <laughs> look at my big fat earlobes. And uh Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's there's so many distractions, so many people trying to break us down, so many people trying to hinder us and uh say we're all full of shit, but check it out for yourself, make up your <laughs> own mind. Right. And yeah. uh you'll you'll wake up. You'll wake up to see what's really going on. We can never give up, everybody. Got to hang in there. And John, thank you for your strength and courage in getting the story out. Thank you, Sue, so very much. Thank all your family and your friends and uh, Smarties crew and everybody. You all are freaking awesome. Straight up. <laughs>